With the collection that he showed during the Paris fashion season, Heido Ackermann has become the crown prince of fashion. Everything Heido Ackermann does is the antithesis of fast fashion. It's slow, it's measured and it's beautiful, from the music which started slowly to the clothes which ripple over the body. He is a new star in the firmament of fashion. Heider, you once said to me at one of your collections that your woman was always very far away. What did that mean? She was not reachable. She was, um, you could not touch her, you could not understand her. She was coming from far. But I think nowadays she's coming much more, she's becoming more social. She's coming into the life. Before she was always like um, traveling, gone. You never could grab her. Which, made, which makes her very seductive at the same time. But perhaps nowadays she's coming back to life, or into life. You're now being taken very seriously in Paris as a major designer. Karl Lagerfeld went out and said he'd love you to be his heir apparent. How do you feel about that? Anxious. I mean, you always have the luxury when you don't have this much attention that you can do whatever you want to. You have a kind of freedom. So having all those eyes on you, it makes you kind of insecure and it put doubts in yourself. But at the same time, it's really exciting. I mean, I'm blessed. I'm really happy to go through this moment. But at the same time, you want to go back into the shadow a little bit. I saw a very beautiful collection that you did at the Pitti Uomo exhibition mm. in Florence mm. and you put out a whole table and it was like a Caravaggio painting yes. with the fruits and the colours. Yeah. Tell us more about that and tell us why you folded that male collection for the moment. You know, being a guest in, in Florence and the first thing I wanted to do is wanted to go there and to visit the city and then they bring you to all those abandoned houses and then you suddenly try to build up a story like who is this woman, where is she? What am I going to tell here? And I saw her wandering to the, her rooms, through her palaces, and uh, searching for something. But then slowly, the question came like, but who is she searching? So she might be searching a man, because in life everything is about love. So it was an exercise of style, which was for me very interesting, because you are much more concentrated on the clothes. A man is about attitude, it's about gesture. You want to make, you want to bring in something, while a woman, you want to make her beautiful. So perhaps it's more simplistic. So this exercise of style that you have to figure out about the manchette who has to be a little bit shorter, the color has to be a little bit more high. It's just little details which change the whole attitude and I think that was very interesting for me. So what was the starting point for winter 2011? Was there a moment of click when you saw something or felt something or touched a fabric? No, it's just I'm, I'm a tremendously selfish person concerning that. It's all about myself. I built up as a catalyst of my own feelings. So it means that um, you, you want to stand up, you want to stand straight and you want to go a little bit more back in the, into the shadows and you just try to, to build that up. You want the colors, but you don't want them as bright as before. You want them to be perhaps more noble, uh, more subtle. I don't know, but it's true, I, I like to work with leathers because it has something very raw, very animal, and, and silk is very like, I love when fabrics faints on the floor, um, I find it's quite beautiful, so this combination gives a kind of edginess and a kind of sensuality. 